Hey guys, welcome to the next video on Redis tutorial for beginners. And in this video, we will learn what are sets and how to use sets in Redis. So first of all, what are sets? So Redis sets are an unordered collection of unique strings, right? So by unique, I mean whatever values set contains, they are all unique. So no repetition is allowed here, okay? and they are unordered uh, uh, you know list so they are not ordered and they are unique so let's uh, see how we can use sets in uh, practice so i have already started my redis server and on my cli first of all let me uh, just clear all the keys which i already have so i will just say keys and i have only one uh, key which I'm going to flush all. And now let's create a set, okay? So to create a set, you can just use S for set and then add, okay? So S add and then give any a name, any name to a key. So for example, my set is a key here. And then you can add members here, one or many, okay? For example, I want to have a set of numbers. So let me say this is my first set. So I will name it set one, my set one. And let's say I add here one, two, three, four, for example. Okay. And I just uh, press enter, which is going to create a set and add these four numbers. Now here I have provided four different numbers, right? So they are all unique. And to view uh, the members of a set, you just do S members, okay? So S members and the key name, my key name is my set one, and you can view all the members of the set, right? Now, for example, in this set, I want to add uh, one more value. So I just say S add, and then my set one, and I want to add three here, right? And I already know that here I already have three in my set and I want to uh, you know add one more uh, three to the set which is not allowed right so it's going to give me zero in return that means this three is not added to the set because three is already there okay we can just prove this by using s members uh, and then the set name so you can see set is not changed the values in the set remain same because uh, they must be unique okay on the other hand when i do s set one five which is a new member in the set i can just uh, verify this so you can see this time it's added and you can verify it with this value if you get one here that means the number is added to the set and if you get zero here that means number is not added to the set right now for example if i want to know how many uh, values are there in the set so how many members are there in the set so i can just do s card and then the name of the set my set one okay my set one and i can see there are five members in the set okay now uh, let me create one more set so I have uh, my set one. Let me clear the terminal first. And now I will create a uh, set two. So set add or s add my set two here. Okay. And let me add some more numbers here. This time I will uh, add, uh, for example, five, eight, seven, six, four, and nine in this set. Okay. And then press enter. And I can uh, view this set by S members here and the key name as set two. And you can see these are the member of second set, right? Now, if you have multiple sets, you can subtract one set from other using S diff. Okay. So you can use S diff and this S diff command returns the members of the set resulting from the difference between the first set and all other successive sets so this is the difference uh, so i will uh, just add my set one as my first set and then i will just uh, 
give the second set as my set two okay and then press enter and it's going to give me the difference between these two set let me show you the values of uh, the set one also so we can verify so you can see in the set one we have value one to five and then in the set two we have values four five six seven eight nine so from s diff it's going to give you the values which are there in the set one but they are not there in the set two okay so these uh, values these three values are not there in the set two right but uh, four and five are there in the set uh, two so they are discarded so s diff is going to give you the difference that means uh, whatever values are there in set one and not there in set two now if you want to uh, know the s diff and save it into the third set for example then you can do that also so you can just write s diff and then store and then the destination so i'm going to save the difference in a new set so for example my set three right and then uh, the difference between these two sets so my set one and my set two so these three values will be saved in the new set which is my set three okay press enter and then you can see by s members my set three you can see all these values are saved in the set three which is the difference between my set one and my set two now you can do the union also union of uh, the set so for example i want to do union i can just write s union and the set name so my set one and my set two okay so i wanted to do the union of set one and set two and then press enter and it's going to give you uh, these values so union means whatever values which are there in the first set also and second set also the combination of that unique value right so all the unique value which are there in the first set and second set so uh, these value were in the first set and these value which are unique in the second set so this is the combination of s union okay and same you can do for storing so you can just write s union uh, store here so just write s union store and i'm going to store it in set 4 for example so my set 4 the union of set 1 and set 2 right press enter and union is saved i can do s member my set 4 and you can see now it has 1 to 9 which is the union of set 1 and set 2 okay so in order to store use s union store now if i want to remove some members from a set i can do s rem for removing a, a value from a set or member from a set and for for example i want to remove uh, some member from set 4 and i want to remove for example 9 okay and then press enter it's going to remove 9 from the set 4 and i'm going to do s members one once again and you can see 9 is not there anymore okay you can remove multiple values for example 8 7 6 and so on and these will be removed so now i have only up to five values because eight seven six are removed now for example i want to remove a random value from the set so i don't want to uh, remove a specific value but i want to remove a random value so for example i can do s pop here to remove a random value from a set so my set four for example and for example i want to remove only one value from here right so i can just uh, press enter it says three so it has removed three from this set okay so let's do s member s4 and you can see three is no more there in the set four okay so it has picked a random value from this set and removed it okay i can give uh, for example s pop uh, my set four uh, for example i want to remove two random values 
so I can just do that and now it has removed four and one from the set and now my set is only of two values or two members two and five okay so as pop is to remove the random value from the set now let me clear this terminal and let me just print uh, the values of set one and set two once again so set one has one to five and set two have four to nine now there is a command called s inter and s inter command gets the element of a set after the intersection of all the specified set okay so it's going to give you the intersection of uh, all the specified set so just do s inter for example my set uh, one and my set two and then press enter and it's going to give you the intersection intersection means uh, these values are there in both the sets so these are the intersection of both the sets so four and five are there in set one and set two so it's going to give you those value only and as we have seen in the case of s diff and s union you can do uh, for example s inter store so you can store the intersection into a new uh, set so s inter store and for example i want to save this in set 5 and then press enter and then i can just uh, see the content of set 5 which is 4 and 5 which is correct now the last command i want to show here is s move command so s move and this command is used to uh, you know transfer or move value or member from one set to the another set right so for example i want to move one from my set one to my set two okay so i want to move this value to the set two so what i can do so first of all the source source is my set one and I want to uh, move it to the destination which is my set 2 and I want to transfer the value 1 member 1 right so press enter it says 1 that means the operation is successful so let me see the s member or members of set 2 and now you can see 1 is moved to the set 2 earlier 1 was not there in the set 2 but now we have one in the set uh, two and let's see the contents of set one also so you can see one is no longer there in set one because it's moved from set one to set two so these are some of the most frequently used command in redis sets i hope you enjoyed this video please wait comment and subscribe and bye for now